Why are you not enjoying this as much? That's okay. <laughs> maybe if you come into Cairns Airport, give yourself an extra 10 minutes, and maybe send your wife off to get a coffee. Can I go out there before we go on the plane? You can go out there whenever you want, man. We're just here at um, Cairns Airport up here in Queensland, tropical North Queensland. Now this is an airport I haven't been to for probably about 10 years and it's changed loads. Lots more international flights come in this way. So I wanted to take a bit of a look around and check out the Qantas Club lounge that they have here as well. And just have a bit of a nosy around the terminal before we head back to Melbourne. You know me better than anyone else. Your staff tighter than a Ryan's belt. I fall through your orbit. Need a ticket out of here on a space jet. That's well worth looking at actually. If you're coming to Cairns Airport and you have a little bit of extra time, then just as you come through the security, take a left and a left, as if you're heading towards the Qantas Lounge. And this whole uh, Aviation Pioneer section down here has got some cool information about the people who flew out of Cairns when Cairns Airport, I think the first flight came out of Cairns Airport in 1914. Can I get your thoughts on the Connors Club at Cairns? What do you reckon? Yeah, you know, it was, it was nice and clean and bright and it was good for you over the runway. Not the greatest coffee, but yeah. Not the greatest coffee? You win some, you lose some. The views were good. Views, views were good were out the window. Good. I like the views out the window. Views are much better than Sydney. There's not a lot of Melbourne. food options. Yeah, views are better than Sydney and Melbourne. Yeah. Food options were okay, but it's a smaller lounge, so you're going to expect to get slightly less food options. But it was nice and quiet. The Cairns terminal bright. gets quite busy as well. This yeah. public terminal, so if you're going to get into the lounge here, it's probably a good place to escape the crowds. Um, so, so how many stars? Three and a half. Three and a half stars out of ten. That's Actually. pretty hard. <laughs> okay, dear airlines, this is one of my small bugbears with travelling: is when the flight is now set, it's stated to be boarding, so it comes up as boarding on the on the boards in the lounge. It comes up as boarding on your phone. And then you get to the gate, and we're clearly not boarding. Now we're boarding, now we're boarding. So stop complaining. <laughs> I haven't seen one of those before, that's a 737-300, a little Qantas freight aircraft. Um, just coming from Townsville this morning apparently. It's very small. It's 
interesting one because you know, I've said this before, I do like to book business class where we can because of the, the leg room, the seat's really important. But sometimes the food is nice too and we did book a special vegetarian meal for this flight. It's not bad, don't get me wrong, it's... But I still don't get why, why do airlines insist on serving curry on a plate? I mean, it's like curried vegetables and rice goes, it's actually not too bad. It's quite tasty, it's good flavour, but it's curry on an aeroplane. I don't... you get really gassy and... I don't want that on a plate. Anyway, we have bread and fruit. And again, I mean, the food itself is good, I just think it's the wrong choice of food. That's all I'm saying, so... The curry itself, in its own right, serving curry on a plane, I really like flying Qantas. The lady who's working in cabin crew today um, realised that we weren't eating our curries and offered us an alternative. So Jack's got she's got a, a salad. And I've got some Vegemite from the galley, so I'm going to make Vegemite toast. Thank you, Qantas. We're flying pretty close to Charleville now. Uh, it's just down to the left below us in the aircraft, which means that a couple of hundred miles over in that direction is Longreach. Whatever you need 